Hey guys, it's Summing Rush. Today we're going to be taking a look at a replay that I played on Swamp. Uh, in this replay, nothing special happens. It's basically a 15-0 uh, Ruffle Slump game. It wasn't actually 15-0, but uh, you know, it's it's that type of game where your whole team just dies in like three minutes, and you're like last alive trying to fight for your life. So. Uh, I'm going to show this replay because a lot of people have trouble with this and, and people like complain about consistency all the time. They wonder why the hell they can't be consistent. And uh, typically fast games like these are the ones that are going to screw up your consistency because you try to push and you die. That's that's generally what happens. So um, I'm in a medium tank. A lot of World of Tanks is about noticing opportunities and taking advantage of them. And if you don't notice an opportunity, uh, don't don't try to force it because you sort of have to wait for those opportunities to happen. Um, if you, if you don't, you're gonna die. So you can see I'm push, pushing up to the middle. This is the beginning of the game. Uh, what I'd expect is their medium tanks to go to the north. They've got a lot of mediums. Their TDs are probably gonna camp in their base, and their one heavy might camp. He might uh, try to contest the south. Now that's what I'm expecting. So you can see I'm up in the north. I'm trying to get shots on people who are trying to sneak up the zero line. Um, and so that's my mindset right now. I'll give you a spoiler. Their whole team goes south and camps base. So I'm just going to speed this up. Like, literally no one goes up the zero line. So I'm looking for shots in the woods while watching my map at the same time. You can see a Centurion Action X is in the south. Um, <laughs> I would expect, because of their Centurion Action X, that he has a lot of teammates with him. You can see he's very aggressive. And I'm right, he's got a 50M with him. And there's a TVP in their base. Now, what I'm going to talk about here is predicting. So based on... Can I make my map bigger? No, I can't. Based on the mini-map uh, and how aggressive their team is, what I'm going to assume is that these guys are all going to die here. Now, they're going to have TDs up here who are going to be putting shots into the rear of our tanks. Um, and the aggression of these guys is going to prevent like our E5 and stuff from actually getting safe from TDs. So I know like it's very likely we're going to lose this flank. I'm positioning myself to get ready for that. Now, w someone might say I would be able to push through the north. If you look at the, the enemy team... That's not practical. They've got six TDs, and we've got three mediums who might be aggressive enough to push through. So pushing through the north would be a mistake here, and that's what a lot of people would do. They would go push through the north and die, and that's what would sort of screw them up. Instead, I'm putting myself in a position to punish the people who try to push the south, if they do. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to force an opportunity. I'm letting them make the plays, because in this sort of position... Um, you know, if I were to make a play, I'd be alone, and I would have very little support, and I'd be pushing into TDs. Like, it just won't work. So, you can see I'm trying to push shots into the TVP. They've got a bad shot back there. He fired two shells. Um, that's not where I would have expected a bad shot to be, but he was there, so I took a shot for it. And, again, we're just going to be sort of playing a reactionary game for now. I know they're going to push through the south, and I want to be in a position to sort of punish that as it happens. All right, so there's a waffle right there. I'm not going to get shots. I'm just going to speed it up because this is me trying to farm their TD camping base while I wait for them to push. Uh, our T10 is the last guy alive. The Scorpion's trying to flank him. And now I'm sort of in a position where I can put shots into people who are pushing into our T10. So you can see I'm looking for shots on the Scorpion. I'm keeping my eye on the mini-map. I know there's a TVP in front of me. He's shooting at the mud one. And honestly, the TVP is a bigger threat than the, uh, the Scorpion. So I go for shots on the TVP. That hits the dirt. It happens. Alright, so I'm just going to keep falling back. Again, I want to try to punish them. Unfortunately, our T10 has died. We're down six tanks. <laughs> GG, I guess. Um, and, I mean, this game's over, right? There's not a lot we can do. They control uh, the majority of the map. They have the initiative. They have so many more tanks than we do, and uh, even more tanks than we do now. So, basically, I'm just sort of in win-aid farming mode. I just want to try to get as much damage as I can, because the game's over. We're not going to win. So, you can see, I'm just trying to get shots on people, and E50M shoots heavy, he bounces, I get ammo racked by the 2 and 5B. I took two hits there, so I'm going to fall back, because I don't want to take any more. Um, this is the forcing opportunities thing. It would be me trying to force if I were here. Uh, they punished me for playing there, so I'm just going to run away and find something else to do. So, uh, based on the minimap, there are two things I'd expect them to do. Based on how they've played, and they're playing the south, I would expect them to push through the 1-2 uh, line. You can see the scent is doing that. Um, I wouldn't expect them to push through the north. We've got a T62A scouting that, and they've sort of just been south heavy all game, so it's very unlikely that a lot of them are just going to run through their whole base and go through the zero line. Um, that's my perspective. I've run to the back of the map here. I'm not used to this position, so you're going to see me sort of like not sure a lot of the time here. But basically, I'm just in damage farming mode. They've got a Tiger 2. 
Um, and this is me creating an opportunity for myself. So they're going to be pushing into us. I know that they're going to be very confident. So um, a lot of them are going to be very easy to shoot at. Like they're not going to be too worried. Like the 704 here, I'm just able to put shots into him. Um, and this position is hull down. I've never used it before, but it's working. So I'm able to continue to use it. Kill the 704. There's a scorpion. Um, and now it's just going to be sort of like a brawl where I try to get as much damage as I can before I die. So. Uh, when you're in a position like this, there's two things that are important. You need to keep a track of like all the enemies, like that 50M, the TVP, and the Scorpion. Um, and you also need to keep your hit points, because at one point or another, they're going to YOLO you. And you just need to stay alive uh, and try to maximize your damage output while you are you know, while you can. So, I'm fighting that E50M. I know I've got a faster reload than that 50M, so I'm able to put a shot into this... Uh, 2 and 5B while the 50M is reloading. I see the 50M. I'm just going to take another quick shot here. Well, I just changed my mind because the 50M is reloaded. Going to go for his turret. He bounces. So I can beat the 50M's reload. That gives me an opportunity to shoot at this uh, 2 and 5B here, which is perfect. I'm going to point my turret at the 50M again just to make sure he bounces. He bounces heat. Now I can shoot at the 2 and 5B again. Put one into his rear there. I'm down to four APCR. The TVP is rushing us. I'm going to put one into him. I'm going to, well, I set him on fire, which is pretty lucky. You're going to notice I'm focusing on suppressing the 2 and 5B. Put a shot into this bat shot. Immediately, I'm going to watch the 2 and 5B again. Uh, he's not too keen to fight us. Now, one thing that's going to happen here is, uh, I mean, the game's almost over. You can see the scores. <laughs> They're going to overwhelm us eventually. Um, the bat shot is a clipped tank. Now he's going to be reloading very, very soon. I think he's got one shell left. The E50M, and I don't mean to, like I'm not insulting him or whatever, but he's making a mistake here. When you're in a position like this and you've got a, an autoloader tank who's reloading, what's he going to do to you? He's not going to do anything. So you're going to see, I'm actually going to ignore, how do I zoom out? You can see I'm ignoring the bad shot. I mean, he's no threat anymore. And the E50M is sort of tunnel visioning on him. Um, I'm in a predicament here because I need the E50M to turn around to shoot at people. Um, <laughs> but he's sort of tunneled on this bad shot here. So you're going to see I'm like trying to suppress everyone and the E50M is continuously, you know, distracted there. I shoot the bad shot because I'm just trying to get the E50M to like turn around and I get round. So uh, that was a 6k damage game. It's going to be hard to believe. But this is what you're going to need to do. When you're in a situation where your whole team just melts around you, I mean, they, we <laughs> we killed five tanks and they killed all of us. Um, you really need to just sort of focus on living until the end of the game and just farming damage because the reality is um, there was a possibility of us winning this. If you notice, they've got three one-shots, two two-shots. I mean, that's five tanks right there. We could have maybe won this. Um, it's the one in a hundred games type of game where you win this. This is an average raffle stump game. And how you're going to want to play to this is just focus on living and not forcing things. If I had pushed down the zero line, I would have died. Like, I, I, they would have just yoloed me with their TDs. I would have had no support. I would have died. Um, a lot of it sort of revolves around just sort of playing cautiously and letting them come to you. As an aggressive player, I struggle with this too. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just like you need to learn to be patient. So it's, it's, it's a challenge, I know. But it's just one of those things. If you're having trouble with consistency you're going to need to learn to just sort of give up ground and use that that you know the opportunities presented to you and, and to be honest there weren't a whole lot of things i could have done like 5k damage was done from this one position here and the game was already over so um hopefully this game was helpful i'm trying to give a uh, an example of you know how to play when your game is over in like four minutes um the game lasted a lot of the time just because this e50m and i didn't die as quickly as we should have uh but um yeah, let's go take a look at the end plates. So for those interested, here are the end plates. 77k credits, 1300 XP on a loss, 6024 damage, 2 kills, 500 base XP. Fired 25 shots, etc, etc. I mean, you can just pause if you want to see this. Um, that was the game. So hopefully the moral, like the moral of the story is, yeah, you know, there are some teams, everyone gets them, that are just going to be absolute trash. Um, you, you really need to sort of wait for an opportunity and, and sometimes like whole games will go by and you'll only get like 2k well for me only 2k damage um but it, they, they happen right like you just need to sort of play it out focus on playing the whole game if you die at the beginning of the game immediately you have no hope of getting any more damage so um a lot of the reason that I was able to score 6k damage by the end of the game was just because I lived and I put myself in the position that let me farm so hard um, so, 
you know, it, it happens. Hopefully this video was helpful. Of course, if you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell button if you're worried about getting notifications to my channel. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.